you know, we go out partying and stuff like that. And she wants to wear like, I don't know, like a hot dress or whatever. Do uh-huh. you feel uncomfortable with stuff like that? Maybe initially I'll feel like, oh wow, that's like, yeah. whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 if yeah. I can't take my eyes off you, Yeah, I think everyone, everyone else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, it's Sonia. Welcome to another episode of Men Explain. It is going to be an interesting one today. I have a special guest here with me. Um, he's also a friend. We used to uh, drink together a lot. His yeah. name is Edwin. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Edwin. I'm an actor. So recently, I've been busy filming, per usual. And um, actually, we were supposed to meet last month. Yeah, and the month before. <laughs> but um, because we were so busy, yeah. so we arranged this program to meet up. To get, basically, up. yes. Yeah. This is our catch-up session. Yes. But today's topic is quite juicy. Okay, yes. it's um, two words that I feel sometimes there would be a bit of like lines blurred in between. Yeah. Of being possessive or protective. Mm. How did you meet your girlfriend again? Can you share with our audience? Okay, so yeah. we met at this party brunch. Mm-hmm. Party? <laughs> And I saw her. And you were like, damn girl. I got to talk to her. So after um, some liquid courage, yes. I decided to talk to her. He means two bottles of champagne probably. <laughs> after that, close. Yeah, I mean, I tried to talk to her. I have sort of like the lines I want to say. Yeah. But when I met her, like I just couldn't remember any. Huh, what were yeah. the lines that you prepared? Like, I just want to know. Like, hey, um, how are you? I find you um, really beautiful. Like, ah, I'm so cheesy. Then yeah, what, did, so you, what said, did you say? Hi, <laughs> do you want to be friends? <laughs> You say you want to be friends? Yeah. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, oh my god, yeah. And, and to that, she said, okay. Uh, yeah, with a huge question mark. Oh at the my end. gosh. But yeah. I'm sure you got lost in her like eyes already at that point yeah. in time. Yeah. yeah. How long did it take for you to, uh, I don't know, ask her out or go for um, your first official date and stuff like that? It was actually about close to two months. Mm. Through text, we found out that we kind of get along and we click. You yeah. know, you also travelled, I think. Yeah, to, actually, to because here, right? she's yeah. not local. Yeah. So we actually met in Bali. Mm. Surprisingly, we could understand each other's working schedule yeah. and how busy we can get. Yeah. Is that one of the reasons why things clicked? Because I think in previous experiences, we may have dated people that don't really understand the nature of our yeah. job. or And it doesn't mean that the person has to be in the same industry. It can just be someone who is willing to learn more about yeah, our industry or understand, and the, like understand the, more the nature mm. of the job, the people that we meet and the irregular timings that, yeah. that we work. We heard of like opposites attract. Right. But I, I've come to know that mm. actually similarities do play a larger part. Yeah. Yeah. Two years, it's um, not a very long period of time, but it's enough time for us to work our differences apart. Yeah, I think we saw each other through some weird <laughs> stuff as well. <laughs> At one right. point in time, yeah. right, you know. So when it comes to relationships, there's always that question about boundaries and, you know, mm. whether or not you have a partner that is being, you know, understanding sort of and understanding your that. Yeah, or yeah. crossing that sometimes. Yeah. Have you ever had um, a partner or were you the person in the relationship that might have gotten a bit too overbearing or possessive? Well, I think like boundaries do need to be crossed to realise like, oh, that's your boundary, mm. you know. So since young, every time I work, yeah. after work, I'll have some time to myself to destructure mm. and just chill. Yeah, but okay. um, there was this relationship, the, like, the longest relationship I've had. So I needed my alone space, mm. but she couldn't understand why. Did that sort of set her off? Like, was she triggered that you yeah, said Yeah, she was a bit triggered. That? It came to a point where... It was like, also oh, if when we are married, yeah. and you need alone time, you're just going to go off somewhere and not oh come home. Oh my gosh, okay. And I'm like, I just kind of sucked it up. Over time, I felt like I wasn't truly being myself. Because yeah, you're to trying some, to compromise to, to some extent, understand yeah. her, And right? also, like for me personally, yeah. I love spending time with my friends. Ah, uh, yes, yes, that. yeah, of course, that. yeah. And the best of both worlds would be if... My partner can hang out with my friends. Yes. Everyone have fun together. Did you ever have an ex or were you the person that um, has ever been not okay with your partner having like friends of the opposite sex or attractive friends or um, whatever it may be? Have you found yourself in that position before? There is, especially, um, it was quite complicated because okay. her senior in school right. and her used to have a thing. I mean, I was insecure and therefore it resulted me like being a bit controlling like Oh, can you don't stay too long? Okay, or, okay. Or like, can I be there? <laughs> okay, really? You said, can yeah. I be there? I felt a bit better after she sort of assured me okay. that there's nothing, nothing and they're not even friends anymore. They're not even on talking right. terms. Yeah. 
So then now that you are, obviously you're quite seasoned and you've been doing so many shows and you're more in the public eye now, more mm-hmm. than ever, um, was dating kind of challenging for you? Part of uh, why my uh, girlfriend and I, yeah. we are able to understand each other's job scope. Yeah. Because like, let's say in a show, yeah. I have to... Um, date a girl, I have to like marry a girl. a girl, I have to kiss have a to girl. Kiss someone, yeah. yeah, thankfully, um hasn't happened. Our local scene is quite oh. PG. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know so There's no tongue, no okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no tongue, okay. Yeah. yeah. But um you know I think from someone in a very different industry, yeah. it's very hard for them to fathom like, you mm. know, how how is that gonna be professional off screen? Right. And, on screen. And you have no feelings after. Yeah. Have yeah. you ever felt insecure about her, your current girlfriend? Because, I mean, obviously she's a beautiful girl. Yeah. Um, have you ever felt like, oh my god, I don't know, man. Like, this girl, she has like a <laughs> gazillion suitors out there. Like, yeah. why is she going to pick me? Have you ever felt that way? Definitely. Yeah? Definitely. But um, not meeting each other for nine months. Yeah. And still being able to keep the relationship strong. Yes. Has proved a... Significant point in both of us that the foundation is yeah there. the foundation yeah. is there, Different. especially for our Instagram. Yeah, a lot of it is to um, promote our work yeah. or update our lives yeah. ish. But yeah. most of the time, if I have to, um, you know, let's say post a photo of Hong Ling and I getting married, right? Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, if yeah. she's all the way back in Ukraine, she'll be like, "What the hell yeah, is this?" Yeah. And um, yeah, thankfully she's met Hong Ling. And yeah, and they have a mu- she has a mutual understanding yeah. of what's going on as yeah, well. Yeah, and she knows it's work. Well, speaking yeah. of Instagram, since mm-hmm. we're on that note right now, um, you obviously post a lot more pictures, and you post a lot about your relationship, which is very nice, very refreshing. I just don't feel like there is a need to hide. Mm. Or yeah, when mm. it comes like it's something fun we're doing together, and then we just post it up and share yeah. the joy. That's nice. You know? Yeah, but I mean, I start to draw the line. Like, if it's a stable relationship, mm. I would be okay to go public. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Then, the, on the flip side, would you hope or expect your partner to post more about you? Here, here comes like a tricky part because okay. uh, she would she actually posts more about us okay. than me. I have yet to give her this talk here though. Like oh about, my gosh! Like, like because this, my Instagram, it, it's work for me. Oh, okay, yeah. I understand. Yeah. So there has to be like a balance of yeah. things, yeah. you know? Because um, it's how we want to portray ourselves to yes, everyone yeah. else. Mm-hmm. And of course... I want to have a balance of like work, and leisure, life, and yeah. personal lives. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so, so sometimes I'll feel a bit pressured oh. if she's posting something, yeah. and I don't really repost it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have yet to have this talk. With her. You heard it so here see you first. Next, see you next podcast. On <laughs> Mad Explain. I want to take us back to yep, like the, the whole topic. personal space and all that as well that we mentioned earlier on, which mm-hmm. kind of ties back in quite nicely because now that we also established that. You are dating somebody who is very understanding of yep. the industry and all that. What do you guys do for that quiet time alone, like off social media, off, you know, everything? We just like to concentrate on our own own hobbies. Okay. And we make it a point where when we are sort of dining. Yeah. Or <gasps> chilling no together. No phones. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah, though at the start I was the one who tell her like no phones and oh. she'll respect it. Okay. But nowadays I I have the tendency to look at memes. <laughs> and she'll be like, hey, you're memes? the one who tell me. Yeah, memes. During the, yo, lo- I mean, looking sometimes, at me. you know, like, <laughs> you're like waiting for the food to arrive okay. and it's like a little it's like entertainment. But, but I mean, yeah, I'm kind of a hypocrite in that way. But, nah, you know, she'll remind yeah, me to like, yeah. hey, you're the one who said no phones. So I'll be like, okay, no phones. And That's just, really cute. You just start to talk more and you know, have a serious conversation. Yeah. Like, if you're doing this podcast and I'm always on my phone, you ca- it's yeah. a bit hard to connect. You won't get paid after yeah. this. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> you won't get paid. No, but I think that's great because, you know, when you establish those boundaries and you both agree on yeah. it, it becomes like a very Is that a healthy... Boundary? Yeah, like, I mean, so a boundary for us collectively, lah. Yeah. Like, right? Okay. In some okay, ways, yeah. right? I think um, me being on my phone too much was definitely one of the red flags for my ex-boyfriends because right. he was like, you're always on Instagram, like, stop. Obviously, when it comes to respecting each other's boundaries, I'm glad that you have found that balance. Yeah. You know? Have you guys ever thought about anything that, you know, is related to being insecure, setting certain boundaries, mm. or anything like that at all? The boundaries she set for me was to hang, like, if I hang out too late. So far, it kind of works. Yeah. And my friends are also getting older, so we don't hang out too <laughs> so late anymore. <laughs> 
oh my gosh, I feel you, dude. Like, <laughs> like yeah. now it's now that place is closed at ten thirty. Yeah. I'm actually done. Like yeah. I'm like, okay, I'll go home now. It doesn't. And I'm and I'm kind of happy because once you go home, you have more time to spend to yourself or yeah. with your loved ones. Yeah. Does she also like her alone time? Uh, not really. Oh. Not really. <laughs> but she and respects that you like your alone time. Yeah. And okay. I kind of tell her that every Saturday is like poker night with the boys. Okay. And okay. Um, she'll leave me to it. Yeah. Yeah. And Just that I don't come home too late. Yeah. And or, you know. What's your definition of drunk. late though? Um, <laughs> and or too drunk Did I just hear that Like yeah. a side note Yeah Yeah so um, Just trying to lay that off Yeah Yeah so <laughs> So for me Is that like possessive Or not I think I think it's Protective Because Yeah of Ultimately it's a vice yes. That I had Yes and She's trying to You know Get me to lay off that vice On that note also mm. Related to Let's say when things Open up again yeah. And you know We go out Partying and stuff like that and she wants to wear like, I don't know, like a hot dress or whatever. Do uh-huh. you feel uncomfortable with stuff like that? Or do you, you're like, my girl is hot, go for it. Yeah, I think um, for her, she would dress appropriately for the event as well. Mm, okay. Like if it's like a grand event, you yeah. know, she would um, go like a full bad yeah, dress. Get, and get stuff. something nice. Yeah. And she'll look great. Yeah. And maybe initially I'll feel like, oh wow, that's like, yeah. whoa. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, 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 if yeah. I can't take my eyes off you. Yeah. I think everyone, everyone else. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so I'm really okay with it. Okay. Yeah. But you will still stay close. <laughs> I mean, I will stay close uh, because she she'll be cold. <laughs> so, oh, that's true. Yeah. She might yeah. need your jacket. Surprisingly, at some point. she's in Ukraine, uh, oh. like a very cold country, but she's really afraid of. Oh, she's cold. afraid of cold. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> and of course, like fend off, like yeah, other people. Potential. Yeah, but low key. So this is being protective, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, those are those are in my head. Right? Like, those are in my head. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't come out, lah. Okay. Yeah, it will just be like. Maybe for like a okay. millisecond of it. Like, like, oh, is yeah. that the death stare? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just it? just a little bit, just a little bit. Actually, I've I've been on dates with people who are more revealing. Okay, who wear because a little less. I think back then it was not really common mm-hmm. here in Singapore. Like to to dress too to revealing dress okay. or like just like a what's that um like a that gem- material you have on your top. Girlfriend material. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, like this semi translucent like mesh, okay, mesh thing. Mesh, mesh, you know, she yeah. would just wear like a mesh kind okay. of dress with yeah. like a thong. Okay. And that's it. And, and that's I was it. really not used to and it. And you're like, what do I do with this? I'm like, <laughs> like well, how do I react? Oh, okay. But after a while, I believe like she could hold her own ground. Yeah. And like, you know, if like people are like harassing her, she'll be able to like, hey. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> hey, that. stop. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. my private space. Yeah, you know? no, I agree. I think sometimes it's not so much about like, how little you're wearing or whatever. I think, yeah. you know, if something makes you feel confident and you like yeah. it, then go for it. But because no matter what you wear, if people are going to harass you, they're going to harass you anyways. Yeah, yeah. And our kind of girlfriend, she yeah. should dress appropriately and mm. I think it's fine. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I think in a way, like... Like manage your reassure, own mindset. Yeah. yeah, reassure your partner as well. And this whole idea of reassurance did not come to me like supernaturally, I feel like... It, Same. It, it, yeah. I didn't know it's like a thing we have to constantly... Put an address. effort to do. Yeah, so yeah. I think I was, I mean, obviously to my exes, I think we've all been through um, bad times where we reflect after that and we're like, okay, maybe I messed up here and I mm. should have been a bit more like this or that. Like and more more tactful. Yeah. And, and like, you know, you can't... Up. Like for me, surprisingly, you know, a lot of the stereotyping would be like, oh, girls would want the guys to read their minds and whatnot. Right. Like, for me, I expect, like, my partner to read my mind. Is it? Like, yeah. Okay. Like, <laughs> like, when I hang out with friends, expect, like, yeah. be it guy or girl, like, yeah. sometimes I get a bit close to them. I would expect them to know that we're just friends. Right. Yeah. Without actually saying it. Yeah, without actually saying it. Okay, yeah. I, I thought, okay. like, they would know. I'm exactly the yeah. same. And it resulted in a lot of fights. Yeah. Back then, for me, at least. I'm like, hey, hey, where is this coming yeah. from? <laughs> exactly, where is this coming from? I have no idea. And yeah. it's like, what do you mean you have no idea? Yeah. Like, but I think it's a part and parcel of growing up of maturing, course, of course. you know, in relationships. Yeah, yeah, so I think that's a fantastic thing as well because sometimes when you're being protective, you cross the line to being possessive. possessive. And, you know, um, not one of my proudest moments, but um, have you ever checked your partner's phones before? Yes, I have. You have? I have. For a reason or you um, have a reason to check? Sort of like this um, guy that's been texting her okay. quite a bit. As in your current girlfriend? No, not my oh, current sorry, girlfriend. Oh, sorry, your ex. Yeah, yeah okay. my ex. Okay. And, um, you know, she, I, I tried to ask um, what's, what's her relationship yeah. and she wasn't being very upfront about it. Mm. So I felt that's a, a little sus, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I said, okay. 
and they started chatting more like through text. How do you know that they were chatting more through text? And you know sometimes when we are chilling and you, you know, just notification will pop up, man. You know, like your glance over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, <laughs> do you side eye glance? Because sometimes I'm like. Yeah, I'm just like. <laughs> How do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a chameleon. I can you can't see, see my pupils, I but I can't see your oh. pupils. When I saw her, the like her phone messages. was there, and the, okay. the text was like, ding. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, okay. Like, oh, I cannot resist. Like, like well. don't open the and text. Then it ding again, and I was like, Oof. yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. just gotta. Just kept going. Yeah, and I just want to see. I'm like, okay, shit. It's actually about nothing. Oh, a plot twist. It's about nothing. Yeah, okay. and I just. Let it rest, and I felt really bad. That you didn't about, trust. You felt yeah, like you yeah, didn't trust. That you. I went to break that thing. Oh no. Yeah, and afterwards, okay. um, I mean, I did tell her about it. You did. Yeah, I did. I was like, oh, no, this guy's a keeper, like He's so honest, somehow. And turns out she checked my phone before too. <laughs> so you're so even we were like, woo! <laughs> oh, what? She checked your I'm phone. Like, okay, okay, hold on. So she didn't find anything yeah, either. Nothing. Yes, I have checked, like you know, my previous partners. Um, text messages mm-hmm. before and you know it was not great <laughs> like this time around my story did was did you uncover something? I uncover a shitload of shit admittedly I was not like the perfect girlfriend or whatever but you know no just one is so, perfect yeah, yeah 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 but I was so distraught to find out about it in Japan on my first ever time that I went to Japan and oh, no. it was meant to be like a birthday trip here's the funny part okay I found out in the middle of the night when we were both asleep, but his phone kept on going off. Ah, and no. I was like, oh God, I want to go shut it off. Yeah. But because I'm an Apple girl and he used Android, I was like, what the heck? Like, how do I... <laughs> this how do alien I, technology. Yeah, what is this going on? Yeah. Like, you know, I had some problems. So then I noticed that it was from this girl whose name had popped up a couple of times before. Right. Like flashbacks, like all the, yeah, all the like, times oh, her name popped up. Is that, is that how they do dramas? <laughs> when you like suddenly realise, you're like, zoom dun, in. Dun, <laughs> like I've seen this name oh, before. No. And so I couldn't resist. I was like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a look. Okay. So and he didn't have a password to his phone. Wow. I didn't Tr- even trust. Tr- yeah, he trusted. I feel so bad after that. I was like, oh my god, he trusted me. Like, he trusted. <laughs> like it was definitely was not it, nothing. Yeah. Is it like um, a yeah. JPEG file? No, it okay. wasn't. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't a picture. Thank God. Oh my God. Okay. But you know, you okay. couldn't see. He tried to delete the previous. Um, oh, so the message is like incoherent. Just, yeah, it was like fuck this shit and then I like ah, then I left I was like I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a flight out of Japan now okay? no. in my mind I was like I took my phone I went to call one of my best friends at mm-hmm. the time whose dad works for an airline um, and it was winter in it was Japan. in the middle of the night it was in the middle of the night went down no jacket nothing no. I was damn pissed off I just mm-hmm. ran down and I was like ranting to her on the phone like oh my god this just happened and she was like oh my god okay like think about it and if you need I will try and ask my dad to help you so on and so forth right. so I was like yeah like, I'm definitely flying out tomorrow and I hang up and I'm like all triumphant. I'm like, yes, I'm getting the shit out of here. I realised I have no hotel key, no jacket, nothing. And I had to knock on the hotel door to go back in. Oh no. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> and, I mean, but did, is he awake? He, he woke was, up. Right? He like, woke up. He woke up and he was like, what are you doing like outside? And I was like, damn cold. And, and I was like, oh my god, um, I need to talk to you. Like, I straight, straight up told him about it. Yeah. The funny thing is, we actually made up after that trip. Oh, and until we did eventually the same just thing happen. Uh. Okay. No, I think we're just at different phases of right. life. So the problem that I had after mm. that incident in Japan was that I had this itch and this urge to keep checking his phone. Yeah, but I think because you have a phob- like sort yeah, of like yeah, yeah, a phobia-ish okay. thing that exactly. you know it's, it's warranted in that sense. I think the problem is like once something like that happens, right? Like it's gonna be very hard to gain your partner's trust back. Yeah. But when do you know that you are totally crossing the line? Like if you check once and you're like, oh, it's nothing, you don't have the urge to check it again, right? Or do you still feel like or, curious? I mean, maybe it might form into a habit. Thankfully, my partner now, yeah. she doesn't spy on my phone. Not that I know of. <laughs> or maybe she's yeah. a really and good I, spy. I don't, yeah, and I don't really check on her phone. You yeah. know, like sometimes. Don't um, really check or. If I see something on her phone, you would I, would, I would rather ask yeah. than to do it behind her back. And I think no matter how the situation is, like whether it's considered warranted or not, like you still yeah. feel crappy about yourself you do. for doing something like that like behind yeah. your partner's back. Yeah. Yeah, so I think talking about it probably is just, it's know, it's just quite the a lot best of way to go. Things. Yeah. yeah. To be honest, I'm not like a good talker in, yeah. a, in a relationship or like across the board. 
yeah, yeah, his opening line was, Hi, can we be friends? Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it worked out. See, you guys yeah. end up together. Yay. Yeah. Take notes, guys. Take notes. <laughs> but I guess, like, yeah, you just got to start to talk more about how you really feel. Okay. Moving forward, is there anything that you wish to work on, like, in your current um, relationship or all is good? When things pop up, then you work on it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know? Cross like, the bridge and we get there. Yeah, kind of yeah. Okay. Like, I mean, if there's not really a huge issue, yeah. or if there's no issue, like, don't go try to find something. Because when you guys fight, it, does it get explosive or confront each other or it has not happened? Um, I think we would explode. Mm. Her go-to emotion is to cry. Oh, no. Yeah. And I'll feel really bad. Oh, no. <laughs> and, you know, like, when I see her cry, I, I generally feel like, I'm such an ass. Yeah. Like at that moment, you're like, I yeah, am like, an mm, ass. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll, I'll feel really bad. And yeah. then we'll not talk for a while just to mm-hmm. wait for the emotions to yeah. uh, wane off. Yeah. Then we have a more constructive feedback Discussion. session. Yeah. 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 yeah, feedback session. Yeah, we'll sit in this format <laughs> yes, and, and talk, talk about to it. Each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In, this, <laughs> in this format. I yeah. mean, so obviously, to wrap things up, mm-hmm. you know, we've gotten quite into some personal stories and, you know, stuff like that and experiences too. Do you think that boundaries are necessary? I think definitely. To some extent. Yeah. Yeah. If it's like a valid, I mean, there's no right or wrong boundaries. It's yeah. whether you can accept it or not. True. Yeah. Yeah. So if both of you, like, like you and your partner could create boundaries mm. and but if you accept it then it'll be good. Then it's all good. Yeah. It's yeah. all good. Yeah, I think this was one of the most like matured conversations we've ever <laughs> had, you know, True. like that we will remember mm-hmm. <laughs> after Under this the influence hour. of caffeine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to share a little mm-hmm. quote actually that we saw earlier on. Um, this is actually from a professor of sociology and intimacy at a university. Dr. Jackie Gab, when it comes to your life as a couple, consider that there are actually three entities involved. Mm-hmm. Yourself, I mean the boundaries that you set for yourself, right. your partner's boundaries, the relationship's boundaries as well. And I think these you know, have to be defined very clearly at the end of the yeah. day, which makes, makes a lot of sense. It sounds really simple, but yeah. I guess when you oh. get to it, yeah, it can it's, be tough. Yeah, because everyone has their own like thing Opinions. going on. Yeah. 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 But I mean, um, recently I came across this quote. If you have a daughter, for guys, if you yes. have a daughter and your daughter is dating someone like you, okay. would you be happy? Ooh, okay. Yeah, so like, I mean, for, for women, it would be yeah. like, you know, if your son is dating a woman like you, hmm. would you be happy for him? Like, you know. That's a loaded yeah. question, dude. Uh, from from there, I would try to like ad- adjust my own expectations yeah, and, and okay. boundaries towards Yeah, that. sounds like you're ready to be a dad anytime soon. <laughs> 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 oh, putting him in a spot yeah. right here. <laughs> Thanks for joining us and I hope you didn't feel like pressured to answer any no, uh, not at all. personal questions I mean, I'm, I'm so glad. Yeah. <laughs> you need to have uh, some personal conversations with your girlfriend after this before this episode yep, airs. <laughs> right, going back and talk to her yeah, about stuff. Time is yeah. ticking. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and share this video and also subscribe to our channel. Yes, and leave a comment below and share with us what are your thoughts. Yes, see you next time. Bye. <laughs>